Hey, Bill. Uh, I tell you what, uh, now to a different sort of competition. Red, hot, and blue is the title of this year's Miss Florida pageant happening tonight in St. Petersburg at the Mahaffey Theater. Ashley is off this weekend, but got a chance to talk a little bit earlier with the reigning Miss Florida, Miss St. Petersburg, and Miss Tampa. Thanks, guys. I'm here with three lovely ladies involved with the Miss America organization. We first have Olivia Stacy, Miss Tampa. Welcome to you. Uh, we also have Chloe Lupa, Miss St. Pete, and also the reigning Miss Florida. So glad to have her here. This is Christina Hanolo. Ladies, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Big week. Miss Florida pageant is in St. Petersburg this week. I know the competitions are already underway, the preparation work. Mm -hmm. What has this week been like? This week has been absolutely crazy. Um, I know on my part, I've been attending rehearsals, making sure that all the girls are ready to go for the show. We've been, they've been in rehearsals as well as doing appearances and also resting up, making sure that they're putting on their best competition. Of course. Let's talk a little bit about the pageant. This is the Miss America organization, the Miss Florida pageant. So there will be a talent portion. Tell me about your talents, ladies, and uh, how you're preparing and practicing this week. Well, I, I'm a dancer, so I've generally been stretching and making sure that my number is ready to go. Really an entertaining, upbeat number to It's Too Darn Hot from Kiss Me, Kate. And I'm a singer, so I'll be singing Let It Be by the Beatles and just constantly warming up, staying on track, and getting ready for uh, prelims. Huge part of the pageant, too, is your platform. It's a time where you dedicate uh, a lot of time, effort, and energy into a cause that's important to you. I have to brag on you ladies for a minute. You've already won awards related to your platform for this year. Tell me about your platform and the award you just won. Well, I recently was, was named as a Quality of Life finalist, and that's so important to me. My platform is Legacy of Love, and it's based on my own experience with my grandmother's struggle with Alzheimer's disease. And I do support groups for families who have a loved one with Alzheimer's, specifically on educating the children and creating legacy books for their loved one in an educational, uplifting way. Tell me a little bit about yours, too. Um, I am also a finalist for Quality of Life, and my platform is Alcoholism in America, Think Before You Drink. And um, it's just about my family's struggle with alcoholism. We've had four people in our family pass away from alcoholism, and surprisingly, 50% of Americans know at least one person in their immediate family who's dealing with an alcohol-related disorder. So it is my mission to promote and spread the word of alcoholism awareness. Such an important mission. And for the lucky lady who wins the title of Miss Florida, yes. uh, it's a full-time job, no mistaking it. It is a year of work, in part promoting your platform. Tell me what your year as Miss Florida has been like. It has been absolutely wonderful and truly rewarding. I have made over 250 appearances. Many of them are on behalf of my own personal platform, America's Wake Up Call, Protect Our Environment. I served as a spokesperson for the Everglades Foundation, where I had the opportunity to lobby in Washington, D.C., as well as in Tallahassee, to make sure that our funding for our Everglades preservation is still underway. An important yeah. year, a full year of work. Real quick, what is some advice you've been giving these contestants throughout the week? Just to understand that we may do everything that we possibly can to make sure that we're at our absolute best when it comes to the pageant, but at the end of the day, it's in God's timing. So if you have some patience and just let go, the competition will go the way it needs to, and whoever becomes Miss Florida, just embrace the journey. Excellent advice. Yes. There are still tickets available both for the yes. prelims as well as the pageant Saturday mm -hmm. evening. want to put that information up on the screen. Tell me a little bit about where, when, Saturday night, and why it, people should come out. It's um, at the Mahaffey Theater in St. Petersburg. I believe the show starts at 7 o'clock, 7 o'clock on Saturday. People should come out because this is an outstanding group of young women that can serve as role models to not only young women, but women that are older as well as around our age, and even gentlemen, because we strive for excellence in everything that we do, and I think that it's important that people see that. It is important. We'll post that info again at abcactionnews.com, where to find those tickets. We're going to send it back to Bill and John now. If you guys could just look right here, ladies, and wave. Say hi, Bill. Hi, John. Hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. Hi, John. <laughs> yeah, a friend just messaged me and said, hey, lucky you have the three ladies in today. And said, they're not here. But see, John, it's now you've the illusion. See, I was waving, so it looked like it was real time, and then you I'm blown disappointed, the Bill. I'm disappointed. When people come back to work on Monday, hey, guess what? This could be disappointing. They may find themselves without internet service. But you don't have to be one of them. We'll give you some simple fixes that can keep you connected. And we're connecting...